Since ancient times, certain people throughout history, such as Buddha, Gandhi, or Krishna, have managed to reach such a heightened state, both physically and mentally, that they were able to transform their consciousness and spirit into pure light. These great beings mastered the world around them and transcended above the physical world and third dimensional plane to conquer their demiurges and become creator gods of reality. For thousands of years, this knowledge has been guarded and hidden within secret societies and elite families because of how powerful it is and the potential of what it can awaken in humanity. It's time to remember all that we have lost and learn the keys to unlocking our quantum state of light. The first and most important place to start is to separate the physical world around us, known as Ka, the veil that binds us, from our multidimensional consciousness and realize that that is the true self of who we really are. The ancient Egyptians realized the importance of transcending the third dimensional teaching plane in order to progress along our spiritual path and called this binding place Ka, representing the soul trapped in the body, binded by illusions which seek to trick us and stop this path. Transcending the physical world and breaking free of Ka is guarded by our demiurges, which are perpetuated and preyed upon by those who do not wish for our spiritual progression. This journey of freeing the mind from Ka and becoming a quantum being of light is the hardest thing we will ever do in our lives and should not be taken lightly. But for those on the serious path who want to rise above and transcend to reach their greatest potential and join the ranks of all of those who have proudly echoed before them, these teachings may provide the means to assist you on your difficult path. Now that you have separated your consciousness and spirit from your physical, it's time to fine-tune and understand the importance of our avatar body, which allows us to experience this place. Rise above yourself and objectively look at how you have taken care of your physical avatar. What shape is it in? How have you treated this vessel of your spirit? In order to reach your highest state, you must first find balance and health. The easiest way to understand the human body is to picture it made almost entirely of water with an electric current flowing through it. This acts as a super antenna which tunes us into our higher consciousness. Imagine your true self and consciousness is a radio station tuning in from across another dimension. That antenna can only function correctly if it is in a certain state and that state is determined by the type of food, water, amount of sunshine, and the various disruptions which can act to block it. The more unhealthy and disconnected a person gets from their true selves and the natural world around them, the more their antenna will begin to fade and even cease to work. As you begin to awaken and look all around you, you see a world full of negative stimuli and illusion, aimed at keeping you sick and locked in the third dimensional world of Ka. Millions of people, disconnected from their consciousness, existing as merely a flicker of their true selves. No matter what, it is never too late to change our path here if you realize the power of the moment and what you can accomplish with just the right motivation. To achieve our highest state, we must exercise and balance the essential nutrients and minerals from healthy organic food and water to clear the years of accumulated pollutants in the body. Focus on consuming only nutrient-dense whole foods that agree well with our individual constitution. Find the balance of the macronutrients protein, fat, and carbohydrates, which provides you the most energy, clarity, and sense of well-being. Avoid eating processed, refined foods and synthetic additives. These will only stand to lower the vibrational frequency of your body temple. If you choose to eat meat or animal products, eat only those sourced from organic, pastured, and grass-fed animals. Learn about the various ways to cleanse your body and invest time learning more about nutrition and physical well-being. This is essential to your spiritual growth. Structure your liquid intake on strictly spring water and spend time outside in the sunshine to activate your dormant pineal gland, also known as a third eye, which waits patiently for us to remember it. By reconnecting with nature, we become grounded to the energy of the earth, and if a person doesn't do so, they will never be able to fully maintain their highest state of consciousness. The evolution of our consciousness and the evolution of Earth is part of a great cycle of energy, simply changing states as we fly through space, headed towards the galactic center of our galaxy 
on this incredible journey through the universe. Stare out into the endless, shimmering night sky, illuminated by the billions of distant planets and suns, and allow the sheer humbleness of your existence here settle over you. Notice your sudden increase in energy and clarity of the moment. Just as a flower must have water to grow, we too must find the needed environment and stimulation to also grow. We are far more like a plant than most know. Begin to utilize your time wisely, focusing on the acquisition of higher knowledge, meditation, and unlocking your chakra centers. As you develop expanded levels of awareness of everything around you, the seven chakra centers of the body, perfectly tuned with the seven colors of the visible light spectrum, begin to activate and you transform. This represents the great metamorphosis of our body and spirit as one, to become intertwined together in harmony and balance as our double helix DNA fuses together and we unlock our coiled snake kundalini energy known as Ba, the creator spark within. This can be seen well in the caduceus medical symbol and yin yang, which have tried to help us understand all along. Listen closely to the quiet voice which speaks to us from our higher selves, following intuition and passion. Begin to start trusting yourself once again and recognizing the changes that are occurring within. Recognition and reflection are important aspects on the road of expanded awareness. As you begin to grow, you will feel mental clarity and energy like never before. This is the awakening of the dragon within and the energy of the Akash. You will begin to do what is called holding your light or higher consciousness. At first it will be fleeting and hard to achieve, as your antenna body is not yet ready to fully connect and merge with this higher vibrational frequency. As you practice daily mental peace and focusing your intention on growing your soul, you will begin to hold your light for longer periods of time and everything in your reality will change. Eventually you will merge with your third dimensional self in higher consciousness and will transform into a quantum being of light, your true self. The gods of history have always called humanity the children of mankind because we are like children, struggling in a third dimensional world, refusing to grow up and accept our true identity. Carl Jung once said, People will do anything, no matter how absurd, to avoid facing their own souls. Slowly, step by step, mankind is walking into the light of Aquarius in our infinite future, guided secretly by ancient parents we have long since forgotten. It has always been about our journey of wandering into the darkness to truly find our way home. For without the wandering, there would be no reason for us to force change within and experience that which drives us to the very edge of ourselves. To go beyond what we thought was possible in this life and transcend time and space itself to become quantum beings of light. <laughs>